Welcome back to some more Beyond Two Souls. Uh, it's, it's been a hot minute since I've played this last. Um, I, I don't really necessarily remember what happened. I think it was the dragon's hideout. I'm not entirely sure. But we're just gonna get right into this, and I think I might be able to finish the game. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty close. Hauntings. Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Get some sleep. Nathan's. Oh, I think this is, I think that's his wife. Maybe it's his daughter. I can go and die in. I say hello to the ghost with Aiden. So this is right after his daughter and wife died. Nathan. This is a tad creepy. Definitely her spirit because she's interacting with the lights or she's causing him to bug out. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. He'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again! I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much.
Yep, I think this is the last part of the game. Oh, man. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Not evil at all. Pentagon top brass getting you down. I did what they wanted me to do. It's not my business anymore. We played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. I was only thinking about my freedom and that was stupid. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. I think I need some time to... to figure it out. Figure out what I really want. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given them an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. I'm, I'm not ready. I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. I don't know. I was either gonna click accept or think, but I think think was the better option there. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Well, just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Put 
Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Weird, okay. I'm in. Jody, oh, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Ah, I'm starting a new life. I don't want anything that reminds me of the old one. I guess that's the right Before place. you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. Ah, crap. When my... Wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago. I wanted to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Give me your hands.
Gott. My darling. I missed you so much. Let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die! You. You're lying. Helen did say that you did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Hope you find peace. Isn't the same lady that walked past me on the way in here? I don't know. Oh boy. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. I had a feeling something like that was gonna happen, not gonna lie. Man's in pain. Oh come on! Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always grateful for your help. Bastard. Obvious, but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death, united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. Then...
You're too weak, Aiden. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Is this Mr. Is Cole? Team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Dude, let me interact with something. Come on. Cole here. Hello? Hello? Guys, come on, really? Work with me here, please. You can't be this dense. I'm sorry, there's no freaking way. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be... What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. I'm gonna do this. Right. Now where? Okay, cool. Uh... What? This way. Over there. Okay, I get it. Go bing. Okay, hi. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Glad I don't have to pick the floor. Because <laughs> I don't know. Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You're about to get choked out. Or possessed. Probably possessed. Wait, can I even possess her? You gotta get us past Maiden. Hmm. I'm too weak. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm sorry, you are on the list. 
My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. Why would you say that in front of the guard? What? Okay, come on, Mr. CIA man. Why the hell would you do that? Okay, it looks like she's on the right side, I think. I don't think it really matters which direction. I'm pretty sure she's going to circle. Oh, wait, oh, okay, I was in the wall. Hey, guys. Ah, Shizen, did I go the wrong way? Aiden! You still there? Ah, crap, I don't know. Alright, well, we're going to go this way. Give me another light to mess with. Uh, something? Give me something? Ah, we'll just mess with this. Right, now where? Seems to be right. I hope it's right. And it looks like I did go the right way, so. Or the faster way, I should say. Jody's here? I freaking hit the switch, didn't I? Jody! Get in! Get in! Oh! Nathan! He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. I think he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. Oh. The containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it. You need help? No. No, I'm okay. Okay. This way! Hurry up! Don't no. stay here! No. Come on! Get out of no. here! Now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the Infoworld needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> yes! Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. Nah, you're probably gonna die. You're all gonna die! I <laughs> Whoa. Come on. Is there anything I can do? Come on. You can't go into hiding. It's not working. I can't stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Better not fucking lose coal, I swear to God. Hurry! We're out of time! I can't sprint! <laughs> the game only lets me move as fast as it wants me to. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. It should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. 
Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here, let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Wait, wouldn't that cut me off from item? Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Containment shut down. This is not a drill. Please exit the building. Right? I repeat, exit the building. I always figured I'd die a hero. Yowza. Field, cut me off from my is at the center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back. It's kind of important to say before you go down there, but it's okay. Just saying. running in sync for a moment. That was kind of cool. The condenser zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Oh, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or a little trip into the infra world might come to a sticky end. Joey, don't get too close to them. Ida, don't attract the engine over there. Okay, so I can't use Iden here because then that draws their attention. Good. To know. Oh, he just got he just got fucked up. Hopefully that means he survives. I hope that means he survives. Please, please survive. Please. Cole is amazing. I love Cole. Please. Cole's like the best character. Besides Jody. this.
mean Nathan's gonna be in here? I didn't have the time. What makes you know Sorry. You hear that? Don't listen to it. Keep going. Who are they? Souls. Lost souls. They're all around us. I know. you anymore your anger has changed you I miss them I miss them so much I'm gonna destroy the condenser and if you want to stop me you're gonna have to kill me you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Hmm. So I guess that's his way of a happy Jody, ending. fuck. There you are. What happened? found what he was looking for. Come on. What are you doing? 
stand the best chance of destroying the Black Sun. Just take this oh, and no, do it. Oh no, those things are gonna slaughter you! Take the damn belt and destroy the fucking condenser. Aww. Get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> They just all of a sudden just straight just stop attacking. Whoa. Exactly what we did with your letter. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. He likes this poorly designed. You must have far to sell it. Come on. Ah, fuck me. I didn't realize it was gonna pop up with two. It all been singles. I'm sick and tired of your stories! So you decide you're really gonna get it! Got it that time. Strangled up the uh, cord. We couldn't do my anything. Son. I, I want to see my son. I didn't. My twin. My brother. We couldn't leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you. And hated you for years. You were a part of me. Oh shit. 
Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. There's no reason to end your life early. You'll still be with them one day. Might as well live your life and then be with them at the very end of it. Plus, I still need to shut down the condenser, don't I? But yeah, this way you get to live the rest of your life. So be with them one day. the shit out of that. Jody, we made it. Aiden? Okay. Ryan could have died? Okay, so yeah, no matter what, he was gonna die. Okay, cool. Or not cool, that's sad, but you get what I mean. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. 
I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Ida. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Yes, go lift. Thank God. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. Oh boy. Ah, uh, well, it's not gonna be alone. It's not gonna be Zoe. Ryan genuinely cares. So does Jay. Fuck. We're gonna go with Ryan. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me. To hear what I was feeling. Yes, that was the time she needed. It took me a while to realize how much I loved Ryan. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone.
We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. As if it could never come back into our lives. <laughs> Ain't gonna get rid of me that easy. things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. afraid I lost you. There's no huh. telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? We're not coming back. Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here! I can't do it, babe. She's more than amazing. She's magnificent. Person. 
Huh. Interesting. I enjoyed that game. Oh, I enjoyed this a lot. It was, it was a lot of fun. Definitely an emotional roller coaster in some aspects. I just wish some of those QTEs were maybe a little more um, identifiable, I guess? Because sometimes I could not tell what the hell where, where it wanted me to go at all. But that could just be a me thing. I could be, I just maybe just didn't really see it. Whatever. But other than that, I thought it was a really great game. Um. Well, if you like this episode, or if you like the series in general, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next series. This is it. It's Beyond Two Souls. Peace.